Is there anything more satisfying in life? What's up guys and welcome to Thursday's video. In this video we're gonna do kind of like an adventure DIY, like DIY vlog style with Basically, us. Basically Becky wants a bed so we're gonna build our <laughs> freaking bed, okay? <laughs> These platform beds I've seen everywhere and they can range anywhere from like $700 up to $2,000 which is kind of insane, a little bit. So I think we can do it for much less and since this is more like tailored for what I want, it'll be a more chill DIY style so First step is going out to get all the supplies for it. Let's go. Why? <laughs> so those bed legs uh, put a huge dent, unexpected dent in my budget by being so expensive, but I kind of need them anyway, so I don't know where you would get cuter ones for less anyways. But that's okay, the good thing about this bed is that the inside is covered by the mattress so you won't see it so you can get away with using cheaper wood for the inside, which is what I'm doing with these 2x2s two that were only like two bucks each and then a 2x4 I'll need but we have one at the office so that's kind of essentially free. So that saves me some money. But for the outside of the bed, I want nice wood of course because you'll see it nice straight wood which you can't always get at the commercial hardware store. So I'm gonna have to go to the nice lumber store for that and that could be a little expensive but Hoping it's not, and it's definitely gonna be nowhere near $700, so, so far so good. Oh man, it's always an adventure going to the lumber store. Lots of interesting characters there. They're all really nice though, but half the time they think that you don't know anything because you're a young girl. But I also bother them because I'm particular about the wood looking nice, getting the right pieces. I'm not sure exactly what I want until I see it, so I make them walk me around the warehouse to show me all the different things. So it's kind of like a fair trade off. I put up with them because they put up with me. So back from the fancy wood place and I ended up getting poplar wood upon the recommendation because it's less expensive but durable. I swear I'd be a different kind of wood every time. And they're yeah. like, try this, try this. So that's what I'm going for. It was about $150 in wood. Who paid for this? Me. <laughs> so first step is cutting these pieces to build a box that's the size of my mattress. I have a queen, it's 60 by 80. Okay, okay, let the cutting begin. So basically what we have here now is some slats. These are from Ikea, so that's an additional expense. Uh, you can do this, like, DIY it, but... Yeah, you can just buy a cheap board and put it across. Yeah, but we thought, like, time and, like, comfortableness. comfortableness might not be worth it. So we have our frame here. It's not put together at all. And then also what do we have? We have the side rails. So how this is going to work is these slats are going to actually sit on these side rails that will stick to the side here with some screws and the slats will go on top. Yeah. We'll put one on the side, one, one on that side, side, and one in the middle. That's called pre-drill, so you don't split your wood. The important step that we usually skip and we always regret it. And then this is the real drill. A real drill. Screw in the screw. Baby, better Welcome to my bed. It's going places. These are on here and they're really secure for when we put the slats in. Eventually we're gonna put a bar in the middle as well to hold it. But for right now we're screwing eight screws in total, four in the front and four in the back to hold the whole frame together. This ladies and gentlemen is called a countersink. You can do it with a drill bit like beforehand or you can just push it in a little bit further. Cover that with some wood filler so that when we sand it and stain it, they're not there. It's like it never happened. Okay, corners are all put together. We officially have a one piece of a bed frame. We're gonna flip the bed over so we can put the legs on with the leg brace pieces, whatever these are called. Top plates, like top plates. But they're gonna be bottom plates. Oh! <laughs> DIY joke, really bad DIY joke. <laughs> Yes, overly priced legs. Get it. They're cute though. They're being cute. What do you got there, Becky? So this is the center beam. It's just a cheap two by four that also fits perfectly in the middle. Why, did you cut it to be perfect? Yes. And this is what the slats are gonna sit on. So same thing like we did for the sides. We're gonna screw them in into place. Added sport, it's never a bad idea. It's like a bra, but for your bed. With our scrap little square pieces, I'm thinking it's a good idea if we make a little feet for the middle. It's not a good idea, it's a very necessary idea. It's a necessary idea. You don't want to get on the bed and the whole middle just bows because there's no support. Yeah. But I also didn't want to spend like $16 or whatever these legs were on middle legs that you'll never see. 
So we're gonna make some out of this. Scraps, reusing. Okay, scraps. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Bed flipping time, y'all. I can't believe we just built this. This is so legit. We're so good at life. Yes. Measure. I pity a fool who measures. We're almost done, <laughs> except for the quote unquote decorative part that makes it look more like a platform bed. But before we get there, we want to test the slats. Sure that we haven't done anything wrong. Slat test. This is where, ah. where we could find out if we did something wrong. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Yeah, it is good vibes. Life hack. If you're ever in bed and need to get out a window quick, yeah. use your slat. Wow. Wow. Okay, normally I would do this step last, but I need Kelsey's help for the next part. And real talk, she left to get us pitas. So I'm gonna move on and do this by myself. It is covering all the screws that we countersunk with wood filler so that it looks like they were never there. So the next step is taking the one by sixes, the smaller pieces I got, putting them around the edge to make it look like a flat platform. So these are the side pieces that go on like this to make the platform effect. Wow. Cut to size. Just make sure when you cut this piece that you remember to add this distance. So we're gonna do some pilot holes and then we have this stuff here called No More Nails. It basically, it's like wood glue but like ridiculously strong, which will help. So we'll do that and then we'll put screws in as well. <laughs> Is there anything more satisfying in life? And repeat on all the other sides. Why sawdust? Why? <laughs> because of you. I was advised that this is the best stain to use on poplar wood because poplar wood kind of soaks in funny sometimes and the gel stain soaks in more evenly. So we're gonna give it a go. What this is those? Gel stain is like nastiest po chocolate pudding something. Ew. Well, it's kind of ew, but kind of I want to eat it, but then when I realize that I can't eat it, I'm like, ew. Oh, who's she? Fingers to not survive the same process, but it's looking really good. It looks really good. So we'll let this dry and then we'll take it to your place. Yeah. So we decided that for transportation, we should probably take off the legs. So we're just gonna unscrew those, but hopefully that's the only thing that we have to do. And then we have a truck. Bigger ones or the... Whenever I take something hard, I just remember, I don't need a van. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, we made it to the house after lots of tying down and strapping it to the truck and driving very, very, very slowly. We made it. But now we have the second part of the challenge, which is getting it up the stairs and into the bedroom. So first up, I'm gonna clear everything out of the room so we can bring it in. Um, so we got it here and it's a couple inches too big because small house problems. So I think we're gonna try and take off the one board. See if that's enough to get it up. And if not, we take off more of that. Hopefully it's not much more it. This is sad. The thing is, I know. Danny is really excited <laughs> about the new bed he can jump on. So. Top is off the bed. Now we can ideally bring it upstairs with no problem. This will work. Um, right? Right? Just gotta take off one more side. Just one. Two out of four ain't bad. Only half the bed. Only half the bed needs to come apart. Okay! Take five! Okay, okay. Yes. Yes, clean bed. <laughs> back together. Okay. So now we put the rest of the sides back on it. Yay! And 
it will need some more wood filling and sanding, but that's for, for another day. That's for Becky to do on the weekend. Okay. Okay, back together we go. Cool. 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 Coming together. So we're just gonna add little screws to hold the slats in place and then we can put the mattress on and it's pretty much done. She ready for a mattress. All <laughs> mattress. I know. Holy shit. Fat boy. <laughs> okay. Looks good, y'all. Looks real good, y'all. Done. So Becky, what do you think of your new bed? I think it's great. <laughs> and it's extra cool to say that we made it. It looks good. The coolest. Danny, do you like the new bed? Wait, paw check before you can come on the bed. Oh, Paul oh, Jack fail. Oh, Jack fail. I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of vlog style DIY. Let me know if you plan on making a bed for yourself and how it went. You can tag us on Instagram at Sorry Squad. Let us know if you enjoy these style type DIYs. Maybe mm -hmm. can do more of them in the future as like more Thursday fun lifestyle-y things. If yes. there's bigger projects you ever want to see us do too, let us know below. And I feel like we have some DIYs like on the main, or on the vlog channel from like back in the day. But like now we do yes. like vlog DIYs on this channel because we do three videos a week but uh we have some old ones on the vlog channel which are kind yes. of like i made a giant desk out yeah. of wood planks a while ago i um, made over my parents' guest bedroom mm -hmm. we did the planter trough thing there's like yeah. diys on the on, yeah. the on the vlog channel too so go subscribe to that because we might put sneaky diys up there sometimes too yeah i don't know all right thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you love it make sure you sub it and we'll see you next time bye